Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be looking at what's in the June Wow box. Look, I know it's July and this is a little bit late, but rules and logic cannot contain me. I'll leave a link below in the description to the Wow box website. So let's have a look. What have we got? Inside you get a little thing to let you know it's June when it's July. On the back of here, of course, it's got a list of what I've got inside. And this is a nutrition facts thing. So if you really want to study what's in it and what you're eating, how much fat, how much sodium, Lots, please. It's got a drink which I've already refrigerated. First, what the heck? What's that? It looks like a big ice cream. I mean, it's obviously not because it'll be melted. Giant clip. This is a giant caplico. It's a juicy melon flavor with a subtle vanilla touch. Subtle touch. Right. Oh, goodness. Is this going to look like a big ice cream? Oh, weird, it's got an ice cream cone on it and it does look like an ice cream. So you can see that top bit there, it's green. Wow, it's melon flavored chocolate on an ice cream cone. So as you can see, the chocolate in it is puffy like an aero bar and all frothy. It's got like a lovely melon flavored chocolate. I don't understand how they do melon flavored chocolate, but they do. And then in the middle there, you've got a piece of chocolate, which is all aerated as well. It's actually an interesting concept. I was a little bit weird about this at first because I was thinking, why make this look like an ice cream when it's not? But I guess now I'm thinking it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> this one's called Jagarico. Take a break and enjoy this rich taste of cream cheese via the latest version of the long-running Japanese potato snack. It looks like an instant noodle cup, but it's not. The front of this is nice and bright. It's got a giraffe that sort of looks like he's masquerading as a cow, taking a big spoonful of cream cheese. It looks like it's just potato chips in a cup. Oh. I don't know. I feel like I should be enjoying this more than I am. What flavor is this supposed to be? Cream cheese. They're not particularly salty. They do taste like cream cheese and they kind of taste like cold french fries. This one is a door taro. These plump treats deliver the rich and hearty taste of udon noodles in snackable size. I do like the picture on the front of it. It's got a cute little kitty cat with a bowl of udon noodles next to it. It's a nice little size packet too. I always love eating noodles on camera because they're so awkward. So this is what they look like. They're little crispy noodles. I don't know what flavor this is. hope it's not cat. Oh, yum. I like the flavor in these ones. They're really salty, kind of tastes a little bit like a soy sauce. Don't know what flavor they're actually supposed to be. They're nice and crunchy, a lovely little in-between snack. Next up, I've got two of these, which are hugely popular in Japan and all around the world. These are Mibo Bo. This one's a Yaratoki flavor, which I have had before. Do I need to try it again? Maybe. The Yaratoki one is like a chicken flavored one. It's a crispy smack, it, a smack, <laughs> a crispy smack. We all don't want those. It's just this long savory snack thing. Mm. And this one is sweet and savory at the same time, which I kind of like. Tasty, they're very tasty, these Amiibo things. I can't believe how popular they've become. It's just crazy, the world's gone nuts. This one's Amiibo, ooh, I haven't had this one before. Amiibo Pizza, I'm probably saying that wrong. Amiibo, 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 seriously, there's hundreds of ways you can say it. It's got a picture of a pizza on the front of it. Oh, it's cannibalism happening on here though. It's got an Amiibo there that's eating pizza. Maybe that's just how he gets the flavor in him. And then people eat him. And I do like that the colors on the front of it are like an Italian flag as well. I reckon I could whack this long packet on the bottom there and it'll just pop out the top. Let's try it. One, two. <gasps> it didn't go well. <laughs> Will it taste like pizza? Mmm. It does actually taste like pizza. It's kind of like tomato-y and cheesy at the same time. Yeah, it's delicious. And once again, it's got that whacking great hole down the middle of it. Why do they put the hole down the middle of it? 
I don't know, I was hoping you'd answer me. Maybe it's so people like me can sit here in a video and go, why is there a hole in it? We're going well today with a treat. Make sure you get some Amiibo in your hair. Oh, wow. I've got this big blue puppy packet with a big smiley face on the front of it. Oh, oh it's caramel corn. Caramel corn, salt, vanilla, really? Oh, I like that this is a big packet. Let's hope they're good. Look, look, look. Happening. Oh my gosh, that was an effort. There it is, they kind of look like little grubs, little witchy grubs. Oh, they smell quite strongly of vanilla. Oh. Oh. I don't know about these ones. They're very sweet, a little bit sort of sickly tasting. Ah, sweet, but it's kind of a little bit like artificial vanilla sweet, if you know what I mean. Mmm. Yeah, I think I prefer the normal caramel corn flavor in this one. It tastes a little bit like a really sweet breakfast cereal. Oh, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's supposed to be salt vanilla. I can't really taste salt in it. It looks like it's medication time. Weird blue bottle with something that looks like tablets. It's probably gonna be like a soda flavored candy. Ramune Blue Hawaii. It's flavored after the famous Japanese carbonated drink. A tropical spin in this slightly sour tr Oh no, it's sour. Okay, it's sealed up the top here, just rip that off. All right, we've got this little pop top on the top here. Are they blue? Yes, they are, they're a light blue color. Oh, 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 I like them. They're not really that sour. So they're like a powdery candy that kind of just dissolves into your mouth, kind of ends on that weird cold note. They've got a lovely flavor to them. I like these. Mmm. Yeah, that would be something that I would get. It tastes like Hawaii and slightly like San Francisco. Lifeguard paste. I've had this one before, so I'm not going to taste test it, but it's like the lifeguard drink. It's kind of like a melon flavor to it. It's like slimy stuff and it comes in these little sachets and you squish it out and you eat it. Is it wrong that I'm not trying it because I've already tried it again? I just don't think I should try it again because I've already had it. I'll leave a link below to that video where I tried the slime. Next up I've got some Pocky Sticks. These ones are chocolate coconut. I always enjoy Pocky Sticks. I love that they come in this little envelope like box and okay so you get two packs of these inside and each pack contains, well really do I have to count them? One, two, three, four, five, it's eight of them. Is it? One, two, oh, fire, counting's hard. You can already see that these Pocky Sticks have coconut on the outside of it, and it's chocolate. I pretty much know what this is going to taste like, don't I? Mmm. I like that. Coconut. I love coconut and chocolate together. I know some of you are allergic. Kenny, stay away from the coconut, mate. I know you're allergic. And a lot of people are allergic or they just don't like coconut. But me, I'm a big fan of coconut. There's not actually that many foods that I dislike. Wow! Got another box of Pocky Sticks and these ones are Brazilian orange. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting trip to the beautician, doesn't it? They've got a little Brazilian flag on the front of it. They've got a toucan because that screams out Brazil. Okay, and once again you get two packs of these inside. Oh, it's orangey. Oh, and it really smells quite strongly of orange. Oh, yum yum. Oh, I like that. I think these ones aesthetically are quite beautiful to look at. I love that bright orange chocolate on there. Really beautiful and really tasty. Time for a beverage break and today I have a melon soda. I have actually had this melon drink before and I really like it. I probably shouldn't show you again, but I want to have a drink. What's the official name of this? Oh, goodness me. H. Farah. Hajiketi. Carbonated drink featuring melon. For the warmer months, even though it's winter here. It's a light green colour here. Oh. I really like the smell of melons. This kind of melon, though, and not rock melon, because sometimes rock melon has that I've gone off smell. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, I really like that. It's light, it's tasty, it's refreshing. A really good summer drink for winter. What's this? Oh, it's a kit. <sighs> oh gosh. This is a kit I actually already have and have not made because... 
Well, there's many reasons why I haven't made it. One, because I freak out about the instructions. I worry about getting it right or wrong. Quite often I get half of it wrong and then when I get it right, even people say I get it wrong. It's all too complicated. I will make this at a later stage. This one looks like a pen. Colour pen chocolate. So as you can see, there's bright little colourful balls in there. I suppose they're kind of like really, really tiny M&Ms. Does it actually work as a pen? Rip the top of it off. What am I doing? Oh, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Does that bit come off? If it doesn't work the way you want it to, make it, make it. Just saw into it with scissors. I'm trying to get this bit of paper off completely, seeing if it opens up any other way than just taking that whole top bit off. Oh, yes, it does. But it opens up like this, like an actual pen. Please tell me you push down on this and they come out or something weird. No, it doesn't work like that. So it looks like a pen, but it doesn't work like a pen in any way. You just take the whole thing off. And then at the end of it, you're left with an empty pen that you can't use. Oh, wow, they're so tiny. So they're really little tiny balls. Mm. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, far out. Something strange is going on here. My little pen chocolates are possessed. And um, oh gosh, they really are. But they're kind of like, are levitating out of here. Oh, excuse me, my chocolates are haunted. They taste really nice, they're like little M&Ms and Smarties. I don't really understand the whole pen thing, but there it is. This one seems to be some kind of choose. I know I've given up with the sheet at this stage because I just don't like reading up too much about it before I try it. Okay, yep, so they're individually wrapped things. I think you get about six of them in there, or I, I kind of want to count it, all right? You get a few of them in there. Let's see. Oh, it's sort of like a white color on the outside, and it's like got a pinky color towards the middle of it. Oh, can I just say that as I was about to put it in my mouth, it smelled really good? Mmm, they're really delicious flavored too. They've got a lovely grape flavor in it. And yeah, that's something I would get again. This one looks really interesting. So it's a black packaging and it kind of looks like it's a little gravy sauce boat or something down the bottom there. And then these balls are just popping out of it. What do they look like? They're like thumbnail sized discs. Oh, kind of got like a curry flavor to them. They've got a little bit of spice to them, but they're not super hot or anything. They're quite a nice tasty little snack. If you like curry flavored things, these are good. I think that's like a corn snack of some kind. It's not potato. Oh, who knows what that is. It could also be a rice snack, really. <laughs> Just have a look at the ingredients there and you can tell me what it is. This one looks so cute. It's a yellow packet with what looks like a pineapple thing. Is that guy on the front there with the face supposed to be like a pineapple slice? I think so. I can feel a stick in there. Is this a lollipop? Yes, it is. It's a pineapple lollipop, I think. Oh, goodness. There is powder down the bottom. So it's like a sherbet sort of a thing. People are going to ask me what sherbet is. People always ask me what sherbet is. It's like a powdery, sugary, sweet sort of a thing. What's the equivalent to sherbet? I don't know. Someone will let you know in the comments below, hopefully. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, got too close to the lollipop stick. The lollipop's really nice. It tastes very pineapple bubble-ish. Hmm. It's hard to tell when you're having a pineapple lollipop if the powder is pineapple as well. Let's just say it is. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this taste test. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.